California and Tim Ryan. All right, we are back at the Hollywood Palladium and let's get the decision from ring announcer Bill Kaplan. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a unanimous decision. I will read the cards. Referee Dr. James Jenkin scores the fight 59-55. Judge John Thomas scores the fight 60-53. Judge Louis Moret scores the fight 60-54. All for the winner, still undefeated, Olympic gold medalist, Frank Cage! The Olympics. In a six-round bout, undefeated Henry Tillman against Larry Phelps. Larry Phelps from Dayton, Ohio. Well, although a year has passed since the Olympics, Tillman believes every time he steps in the ring, he's still defending his gold medal. I'm still fighting for the gold medal because the guy is trying to beat me, and if, when he beat me, he, he, don't, he don't exactly get the gold medal placed in his hand, but he get my title and my reputation and all the hard work I've did up until the gold medal, so I'm still fighting for the gold medal. Well, there is Henry Tillman, and he is home in Los Angeles, making his debut in front of his hometown crowd. Let's go up to our ring announcer, Bill Kaplan. Ladies and gentlemen, and now for the second fight of the afternoon, a six-round heavyweight bout sanctioned by the California Athletic Commission. The referee is Lou Moret. And now... In the red corner, with a record of 10 wins and two losses, scoring six knockouts in the beige trunks from Dayton, Ohio, Lightning Larry Phelps! Phelps! And in the blue corner, the 1984 201-pound Olympic gold medalist with a record of five wins and no losses, scoring four knockouts in the silver trunks from the great city of Los Angeles, California, Hero Henry Tillman! Henry Tillman, 25 years of age, and got his story himself. He learned his boxing while he was in the Chino Juvenile Home here in Los Angeles after some teenage troubles. And uh, there he had a good fortune to run into his manager, Mercer Smith, who got him boxing. And uh, since that time, in a very short time, he went on to win the gold medal and his 5-0 and as a pro. He weighed in at 196 and a quarter and still growing. Larry Phelps at 188 pounds. A good matchup weight-wise uh, for this fight, but Phelps uh, certainly does not appear to be a natural heavyweight. And uh, Larry Phelps, 10 and 2 with six knockouts. He's 24 years of age. And this young man learned to box while he was in the Air Force. In fact, he was just discharged two months ago, a staff sergeant in the Air Force, currently working on uh, a degree in electrical engineering, says he's going to try the pro boxing route. If it doesn't work out for him, that's uh, what's in his future. In fact, he may even return to the Air Force. But right now, he has an opportunity to make a name for himself against the Olympic champion, Henry Tillman. Tim, you talk about pressure on the Olympians. Lightning Larry Phelps looks tight as a drum. If he gets hit a good punch now, it's going to be all over. I was, gonna, I was about to say the same thing, Gil, the fact that the way he uh, throws throwing his punches, he's reaching in, his chin is wide open. I don't think the fight is going the distance. And consider the fact that uh, Tim has had only what, two and a half years of boxing experience. He's made a great accomplishment in boxing to win a gold medal and now to be a professional fighter. Quite remarkable. Two and a half years before he won the gold medal was his first time with gloves on. And uh, since that time, of course, he's uh, gone on to a 5-0 professional record and is regarded by the experts as a rather good-looking prospect. All that Tillman has to do is to wait for Phelps to reach in and count with the right hand, right over the left jail. Phelps, a former Air Force champion and apparently had about 60 amateur bouts, won the Golden Gloves in West Virginia. He's born in Ashland, Kentucky, 1960, now living in Dayton, Ohio, where his last Air Force assignment was. I think Ray and I are waiting for the same thing. We're waiting for Tillman to throw the first right hand because I, I just see that the Phelps is leaving himself wide open, but Henry is trying to box him. He just has to stand there and let Phelps move into his punches. Just grazing him with that right hand. Oh, 
three in this bout, Lou Moret. There it is. And there's the right hand, and that wobbled Phelps. In round number one, Phelps trying to re recover here, get his legs back under him because that one stung him. Under a minute to go. Now Tillman letting his hands come down with perhaps a little bit too much confidence, but after he landed that right, I think he felt that uh, he might even be able to end this one early. But Tillman has to stop moving. He's, there it is again. This man is directly in front of him and his hands are constantly dropping. Under 30 seconds to go. In round number one, Phelps with a record of 10 and 2. And Tillman at 5 and 0. Oh. The difference in the upcoming Gonzalez bout in terms of the opposition is that uh, Gonzalez's opponent has had 38 professional fights, Jose Pulga Torres. For Henry Tillman, his fifth knockout in six bouts, and he was just too much for Larry Phelps, a 188-pounder from Dayton, Ohio, who might uh, even now be considering a return to electrical engineering. You know, Tim, a career in the Air Force. Tim, I've seen more progress with Henry Tillman than with any other Olympian. In the Olympics, he was still a green fighter, but he's coming along at a rapid pace. Good heavyweight. He was very green, and it was quite an accomplishment, and he certainly has improved dramatically as a pro. Well, we'll be back here at the Hollywood Palladium in just a few moments. Right now, let's go back to New York and Gary Bender.